Talk. I am Brianna. We also have Jasmine and Nita. Yes, that's my name. Nita. Yes. Um, so let's get into it. According to Business Insider, new scientific research from the University of Missouri has developed a strategy to recover from a broken heart. This includes negatively thinking about your ex, accept their love towards their ex, although you are no longer together, and stay distracted. So the question is, what are some methods you use to aid a broken heart? That's a very interesting question because what I do is just occupy myself. Um, I just try doing things I like hobbies, try to catch up on my hobbies, like drawing for instincts and going to the gym and just keep doing that and then find other new hobbies like, I don't know, just going to the bookstore and just walking around or, yeah, seems like it. Or like fixing up your wardrobe, that's what I'm doing at the moment. It's pretty good, yes. Realistically, I would like to be doing that, but I know myself and when I'm sad, I can't get out the funk and... I'm usually like, you know, looking through their stuff a thousand times, rereading the messages and wondering why it went wrong. That's so bad, Jasmine. It is bad, <laughs> but naturally that's kind of what people do, and I'm no different than anyone else. Yeah. And I realized that I should probably stop doing that, or I'm just going to be a sad person. Can I cut? <laughs> I'm going to be a sad-ass person. <laughs> it just kind of depends on how you guys, like how... You guys want your separate ways. Yeah, and yeah, because like, it's pretty normal if you yeah. just like, you know, you have to just know that you're not going to be with this person anymore and after all the stuff you've mm -hmm. been through. And then you just have to like think like, oh, I need to start thinking like my own personality because the person you're with, like you're completely different. But then when you're by yourself, now you have to find who you really are. Mm -hmm. And that's that does take a lot of time at first, but it get you get there. You get there eventually. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like if you break up, Say, like, the guy cheated on you or something like that. Then I a new guy. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> because I feel like you're able to move on a lot faster yeah. if he did you wrong. Yeah. But if for some reason it wasn't like that and you guys broke up out of, I don't know, because things that Because he weren't... thinks that he's too busy. How about that one? Yeah. Yeah. If he's too busy, then it's still kind of like F you, you know yeah. what I mean? But, yeah. like, it's harder to get over it because then you're like, what did I do? Was there something I could have done different? Is there yeah. another girl? Do I have to go cut his... Yeah. <laughs> stick? Yeah. Can't finish the sentence. Cut his heart out? <laughs> I don't know. I wasn't sure. <laughs> yeah, so I think it depends. Yeah. But it depends. It's, it's I like so um, what you were saying about keeping yourself occupied. Yeah, exactly. Because that, that really helps you. Because you, like, when you get sick and you're just staying, staying home all the time, then you kind of think about it more. But if you, like, have to go to work or you have to do something, then it kind of makes you forget. Yeah, I agree on that. I remember, like, I think it was the time where I worked a lot um, during winter break, and then I just, like, worked nonstop. And then I was just like, oh, wow, I really should just be at home. But then at the same time, like, nah, I, I think it's just getting money. And I'm just like, oh, well, I just keep my mind off of it at the same time. So it's perfect. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. True. Anything mm -hmm. else? Um, I don't have anything to add. I don't think we really named any method methods besides staying occupied. Oh, yes. You can talk to other guys. That's what I do. That's what I resort to. Um, yeah. I mean, I'm like not the smartest rebound. Yeah. Like, you can have the rebound. But it doesn't even have to be a rebound. You can just talk to other people to fill yeah. the void. You don't yeah, have to have a true. relationship with them. You can simply talk to them, and then you don't feel empty. Mm -hmm. You don't have to be with them. That's what I do. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because I don't have any friends who reply. <laughs> Jasmine, <laughs> I'm working most of the time. <laughs> no no I shots send them, I just send them nonstop until they reply. I'm like, I'm sorry, I'm annoying. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I'll start doing that. Yeah, I am. Yeah, just I'm that. always free. I always just send the most stupid stuff. <laughs> um, what else could be a method? I think that... What I also recommend is that, like... I know, like, when you, so, you just, what, go to work, and then, like, you barely have time to um, hang out with your friends because you're working. What I just do now is I just try hanging out with my coworkers at work, and because you see them all the, di all the do goddamn time, you're like, might as well make, a, make them friends or whatever. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that's what I do now, and they're pretty, like, they're pretty nice. I really like it. Like, I, I just took a shot. I'm like, oh, why not? Like, I, 
invited my friend to go to the gym. Like, oh, why not? This sounds pretty fun. Like, oh, stuff like that. That's yeah. what I like doing that's, right now at the smart. moment. But you can always like benefit from that too because once you like they grow up and they get different jobs, mm-hmm. then you have like that connection with yeah, them. Yeah, exactly. Like I kind of still have a connection from my old job too, even though like. I barely worked there that long, but, like, still, I always, like, stop. I'm like, oh, hey, well, how's it going? Mm-hmm. Like, stuff like, just some chit-chat stuff like that. It's pretty good. They still remember me. <sighs> mm-hmm. Any other methods you guys can think of? I think we have over time. Yeah. So, that was good, right? Yeah. yeah. That was good? It's pretty good. Okay. <laughs> <coughs> Ready? Yes. Yes. Benevolent sexism. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Sorry. So... Do we want to go into the info before the question or ask the question before the info? Uh, do the info first and then ask the question. Sorry. I'm okay. kind of confused. My... Sounds good. So, benevolent sexism. Joe Biden has been put out on the front run for his allegations of inappropriate behavior towards women. According to the Huffington Post, one woman who has come forward says Biden touched her shoulder, leaned in to smell her, her hair, and kissed the back of her head during a campaign in 2014. It left her feeling uneasy, gross, and confused, as well as powerless. The article claims that although none of the allegations may have been sexual assault or harassment, it is considered benevolent sexism. Sorry, I have to reword it sometimes. (laughs) Okay, it uh, considered benevolent sexism. Being that stereotypes towards women can be carried out in positive light and men still maintain the power. Okay, you're going to have to edit it part of it. Sorry. (laughs) Okay, and then edit all this right here. Anyways, have you ever experienced this type of behavior from men before, girls? Yes. Yes. All the time. (laughs) Yeah. Like every, not every single day, but like most of the time guys will say things and show like certain actions where they're like kind of like looking at you but they don't actually like come forward it's like they don't like cross the line of it being like where you have to call somebody yeah. and you have to tell them mm-hmm. but it's still uncomfortable but it's, it's still very, uncomfortable. It's very uncomfortable it's very uncomfortable i don't know how to respond back <laughs> you just punch him in the face yeah uh, oh, yeah, nice I would. <laughs> yeah i mean it's usually in the work environment, right? Yeah, for sure. Because you just see so many people, and then, like, you're just trying to do your job until, like, you just mm-hmm. see some random, just wacko, like, just not doing, like, just doing random stuff, and then they just, yeah. like, obviously aim at you, and you just don't know what to do because you're at work, not, like, in your own. If you're, like, in public or whatever, you can do whatever you want, but you're at work, you have to, like, just meet, remain calm about it or whatever, mm-hmm. so you don't and make you're the company, there, yeah, okay. make the company look bad if you, like, I don't know, make a scene or whatever, but yeah, that's what I think of it. I also think it depends on where you work. Yeah, because exactly. there's there's always gonna be like douchebags everywhere. Mm-hmm. But depending on where you work, if you work in a more male dominant place, or if you work with all females, but you still cater to like what men want. Yeah, that could also affect the type of people that are coming and you're interacting with on a daily basis. So that like I don't know. Like, I've, we've been put in this situation a lot, but, like, how do you go about it? Like, how can <laughs> girls go about it? Responsibly or realistically? <laughs> or how I deal with it? That's truly <laughs> the question I hope you're asking. Yeah, like, so, it depends. I think... So everyone's different. Responsibly, you'd have to go to a manager if you felt really uncomfortable. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That should be the first thing you do when mm-hmm. you're in the work environment. What I would do realistically is cuss them out or throw a drink on them. <laughs> but that's just me. Sorry. Yeah, so. I'm not like that. I, like, avoid conflict conflict at all costs. If I do that, I have, like, this burning urge in me that just wants to explode later. Mm-hmm. And I choose to get it out right now. Mm-hmm. So. That's good. Mm-hmm. Pretty good. And I also work in that kind of field where I'm constantly yeah. seeing yeah, drunk kind of, men kind of and builds disgusting up. guys. It kind of builds up. You so. see it a lot. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I think I tried being, like, the bigger person than that person. Like, I don't know. I just tried making it, like, a whole joke. <laughs> like, uh, for instance, I think, uh, I think, like, in the morning I was working and um, I work at a movie theater. So 
there was an AA meeting, like they all gathered together to watch a movie mm-hmm. all together. That's awesome. And then, <laughs> yes. And then, um, <laughs> and then I think they were just like, you know, just look all like, like edgy, like, oh, like trying to like, like ask for my number. And I was just like, uh, <laughs> no, <laughs> like, I don't know, yeah. just speak a big joke about it. And then, no, no. What you should have asked is, hey, we can go out for drinks later. <laughs> <laughs> they, yeah they would have been so upset and they'd be like oh really <laughs> no yeah i just try to like brush it off like oh yeah yeah right get, get out of here <laughs> yes that's about it i can think of mm-hmm. so what about like specific examples like what you guys have done or experienced uh well like the other instance uh i don't know like i was at work again, yes, and then I think some guy told me, like, oh, you look nice in your uniform, and I was just like, uh, uh, th- thank you, and I was like, I just wear this, it's like nothing new or whatever, it's just weird, I don't know. Mm-hmm. I think it's, like, men's desires towards you, but they don't know how to yeah. act upon it where it's respectful, mm-hmm. you know, it's just kind of like, you're a piece of meat, and... They want to let you know. Yeah, exactly. I'm like, oh, that's great. Like, go away, shoo shoo. In my job, I kind of let them play that fantasy because at the end of the transaction, I get a tip. So you can call me cute. You can say you want to take me somewhere, but at the end of the day, I, no, <laughs> no. So as long as I get above twenty percent, this we'll ain't all no be charity. Okay. Exactly. <laughs> so yeah, yeah. You have to just understand yourself as a person not take mm-hmm. it to heart yes. and mm-hmm. I mean that's, it's still mm-hmm. no excuse but you know mm-hmm. and I think it's sad because you know I'm pretty sure a lot of other women deal with this yeah definitely. and there's no real way to like really avoid the situation or make it better unless you like speak out and then if they have a change of heart and they're like oh I'm sorry I didn't yeah. mean to be that way but most of the time that doesn't yeah. happen that doesn't yeah. happen unless I don't know, somebody puts a gun to their head. Yeah. Yeah, they just try to be like, oh, I'm just all that. I can get what I want. But they, no, no, they can't. Yeah. <laughs> like, sure. one time I was at a store, and my boyfriend was right next to me. We were checking out. And the guy, he's old, okay? Like, he's old, and I understand. Older guys feel like they have that power. Yeah, yeah. yeah I understand weird. if you feel like you have that power. But, like, I, he asked where I worked. He like, went into all this detail of how pretty I am and that I could get a job here. And at the grocery stuff. store? No, not the grocery store. It was, like, a regular store. Oh. Like, uh, okay. uh, we were at Best Buy. Oh, okay. And literally, like, I lied about my occupation. I lied about, oh, I'm, like, you know how when you, like, kind of avoid the situation so yeah, you so can you're trying to make avoid him? Stuff. Yeah. So that's what I did. Uh-huh. But I will go through, like, if I experience that, I will go to extreme lengths to avoid that person. <laughs> like, if I see you across the way, or if you're trying to follow me, then I will, like, avoid at all costs. That's, That's good. That's yeah. another method. Another yeah. Method Give him a fake number. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's funny. Yes. But you have to give them a fake number to like a, like a self-help agency or mm-hmm. something funny that's like, ha ha <laughs> That you tried. <laughs> give them a number to like Pizza Hut. I don't know. Yeah. I love messing with people like that. Yeah, like, so they funny. feel stupid. Mm-hmm. Like, See, I, I can't don't can't want them to feel like they have the upper hand. Yeah. I want them to feel like, gotcha. I can't mm-hmm. think like off the top of my head like that, you know? Oh, yeah, at the moment. Like, you're oh, I'm like, such what? a. Oh, that's my like, specialty. You, like, Things will happen, and then like 20 minutes later, I'm like, I should have done that. <laughs> yeah, I, I have. To, I always think about that all the time. Like, mm-hmm. oh, that would have been funny if I said that. All right, let's move good, on. Right? All right, so unfollowing people. What does it take for you to unfollow a friend or family member? Oh, 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 oh. Mm, that is a, a tricky question. Um, mm, I don't know. What I think of it is like. I think when I need to, like, follow, unfollow this person or a family member, I don't want to do it, like, I don't want, I don't want to actually be the one to do it. I want them to do it to me, because, like, I just am not that type of person, like, oh, I'm gonna unfollow you, this and that, whatever, but, like, I don't know, I'd just be like, well, if you still like me as a person, I guess you could still follow me, but, like, other times where it's actually a person I do know that irritates me, then I do unfollow them. But 
that's yeah that's all i think of so do you drive people to unfollow you drive? if you don't like them um or yeah. are you saying like you'd have to go out of your way to do something weird for them to unfollow yeah, you? yeah yeah exactly so, yeah or are you saying that you like just don't care and if they yeah i just it doesn't yeah, bother I don't you care. Yeah. it doesn't bother me at people all unfollow yeah you. it doesn't bother me either but i have unfollowed friends and family members i have like a list <laughs> And it's not like I have, like, a personal problem towards them. It's just, like, you know, like, when you're posting things, you're kind of responsible yeah. for what the world's seeing I know, like, I about think my you. mom tried adding me on Snapchat, and I was like, no. Yeah. My mom doesn't know how to use that stuff. Oh. Uh, that's good. I mean, not that I hide anything Oh, I see. Her. I know. It's funny, too, because I didn't know that I had my mom on Instagram, and then, like, I think I posted something on my story, and she looked at it, and she's like, oh, beautiful. I was just like... Yeah, <laughs> it just makes you think about. What I know you're knows. just like, oh, whatever. Yeah, <laughs> I don't really mind. And then like, she, I guess like she just tell me like, oh, well, then I'm trying to trying to do this and that. And like, I think she'll understand depending on the people. If you know, like, if you do something, then I think mm-hmm. they'll understand. Mm-hmm. I don't follow people because they annoy me. As in like, like I don't want to see a family member like drinking all the time going like partying all the time and I know that they have issues but they're not really trying to like help themselves you know mm -hmm, what I mean mm -hmm. I unfollow family members because of that and then I also follow unfollow family members because they always post the same thing as in like I'll un oh, you know those motivational those, stuff. Yeah, those disgustingly blurry screenshot yeah. pictures. Like I have little cousins who post about yeah. that or like Fortnite. I I don't know what little <laughs> but those cousins I will unfollow because first of all like I want to keep my following count down yeah and I don't need to be following them anyway like, like, following just random people that just yeah. post like the weirdest shit ever you're just like yeah. I don't need this this is yeah. great like obviously so for instance I don't really use Facebook like I don't post anything or whatever but I just like look going to feed because like cool videos right but then I think I have like a setting where I think my friends on Facebook share their, like, friends with friends. So, like, I just see, like, random shit, like, they post from their friends. And I'm just like, oh, that's just weird. And then, like, then I get a bunch of, like, friend requests. I'm like, oh, I'm not, no, get out of here. Oh, my God. My aunts, my family's in Denver, but my aunts have all these crusty friends. I feel bad if they watch this. <laughs> but, like, they have these crusty friends. Yes. They're, like, old men, and they all request me. Oh, well, they'll my go, God. go on my stuff, and they'll go, like, you're so beautiful. Oh, my gosh. And I'm like, <laughs> that's Ooh, weird. You guys are, like, 50. Yes. You're older than my mom. <laughs> and they're my aunt's friends. So it's just, like, ew. Mm -hmm. I, yeah. I never yeah. like Your aunt has some questionable friends. I, I For we, sure. We, they're twins. We, we say <laughs> it to both of them all the time. I'm like, mm. <laughs> But for me, for friends, I think that's always been weird because I used to have a really close-knit group of friends, and then, like, my best friend, she unfollowed me, so I unfollowed her. Uh, we just okay. stopped being friends. Mm -hmm. And, like, the other ones, I never unfollowed, and I still follow them, and I feel like I should unfollow them, but I just haven't gotten to it. I mean, I don't yeah. mind seeing what they do, because I just don't care mm -hmm. enough, but mm -hmm. I also don't want to, like, have that weird, she unfollowed me, that means I'm done. Like, yeah, yeah. I, I don't know, why is this such a topic? <laughs> it really means something, and that's yeah, weird. It yeah, it yes. really does. It's a lot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but I get what you mean. I'm going to um, follow thing. spree tonight. Yeah. I'm just saying. I'm going to make a list of people to unfollow. Honestly. <laughs> I've already done that. No. <laughs> I know, but I, like I follow app, a lot of people. I like the app where it just shows, like, oh, people that just unfollow you, like, yeah, the second. Yeah, same. I know, it's weird, too, because, like, I get, like, people to follow me, like, oh, it's great, and then I just, like, look, like I don't post anything, like, every goddamn day and they just unfollow me like probably the two like, days later I'm just like wait what <laughs> and mm. I'm just like well that's pointless <laughs> just kidding point is what does it take for them to unfollow um being bad people mm -hmm. posting crusty yeah. things or you just don't want them to see your stuff so yeah, yeah. 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 and I even feel like um like, when they're posting, like, a bunch of, like, positive messages, but then their life isn't like that, or they're not living up a to that. <laughs> yeah, and then also, what's another one? Um, when they're being, like, positive. And they're, like, showing off. If they post like, anything, like, inappropriate, I will freaking unfollow them so quickly, uh. because... What do you mean inappropriate? They'll, they'll, naked they'll, pitch? they'll pictures? post, like, video, like, sex videos. Oh. 
I never had that. I've, I've never had that problem. <laughs> okay, well, what I'm talking about on Twitter. Twitter. On Twitter, they Twitter, have, like, okay. like oh, I don't sex have pages, have and Twitter. people are like, oh, this is how I like it. That's, like, that's, that's like, way too much information. Yeah, But it it's, it's a big thing on Twitter, because Twitter is the only one that allows for, like, oh, sex to be on the internet or whatever on their stuff. Mm-hmm. So, I will unfollow somebody or mute their account, because mm-hmm. I, that's good. I go that through that. Really good. Yeah, I have, in class, I'm in, in the journalism class, we go through our Twitter in class. <laughs> so, if that pops up, I don't know what to do oh with myself. Oh, my God. But Can that, you imagine? To just be like, hey, that's not me. Super high love. Just moaning. I'm just like, um, I don't know what that is. Why are they touching each other? I am the child. You're like, please, God. it's not what it looks like. I swear. I don't post this stuff. Yes. Please. And it has happened. Yes. But I was able to quit that really quickly. So. That's good. That's pretty mm-hmm. good. That's good. Yeah. yeah. So you will get an unfollow hella quick for that. <laughs> or a mute. <laughs> yeah. And then there, has there, like, when you unfollow someone, has anyone ever been like... Why'd you unfollow me? Yeah, why'd you unfollow me? Like, it's the whole thing. I have a funny story, actually. Ooh, but it, your... it's not it's not on social... Okay, so I was scrolling through Bumble, mm-hmm. and then one of the guys on Bumble, he wasn't even cute. I don't know why I gave him my number. And he called me at, like, three, 2 in the morning, like, multiple times. So I, I blocked him on Bumble. And then he called me. He's like, why would you block me? I'm like, uh... Yeah. Dude, that's... That's but scary. I mean that's different than social yeah. media, but yeah. still he came for me. And I was just yeah. like, yeah, what the is... hell? Thank God I blocked <gasps> <laughs> it, it, It's okay. Sorry. Sorry. It's just sorry. <laughs> what were you trying to do? Down. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, so. Stay away from scary people. Mm-hmm. Should I get the rag? <laughs> it's it's just a few dogs. Okay, that's fine. Okay. So yeah. I, I think is this the end of our show? Is it? Yeah. The end. Regular title. The end. Thank you guys for tuning in to Cup of Talk. See you again next week. Cheers, you guys. Cheers. Yay. Woo! First episode. Yes. I should probably drink the tea. I'm okay. almost done. You're like, cheers. I'm pretty much done. <laughs> I know. You're like, <laughs> didn't even touch. There's nothing in it. That's why.